American singer and songwriter Taylor Swift and her Kansas City Chiefs boyfriend Travis Kelsey started dating after she broke up with Joe Elwin after a six-year relationship. The lovebirds have been making headlines since they started dating last year. The lover singer and Kelsey are also said to be planning to take their romance to the next level. Page 6, citing a source, recently revealed that Swift and Kelsey are planning to get engaged this summer. Taylor and Travis have discussed it and there is a plan. They will get engaged on their first wedding anniversary in July, the insider claimed. Amid all this growth in their romance, the lovebirds seem to be ignoring each other on social media. Taylor Swift, who is very popular on Instagram, and Kelsey do not follow each other on the photo and video sharing app. On the other hand, the NFL star has more than 5.4 million followers, while only 1,537 follow him, but Taylor is not included. Taylor Swift's alleged stalker has been arrested while trying to break into the singer's New York City apartment in Tribeca. The New York Police Department responded to a call about a disorderly person and located the man, whose name has not been released. Upon arrival, police were informed that the person had attempted to open the door of a building at the site, a public information officer said. An eyewitness told Page Six that the man went up to Swift's door. I first saw him around 1 p.m. and he went to Taylor's door, they said. They added, I'm not sure if he knocked or rang the doorbell and he didn't resist. There was no screaming or anything. Swift has had several follow-ups in the past few years alone. In May 2023, Mitchell T. Bell, 36, was arrested for visiting her home in Nashville after a number of incidents. In July 2022, Joshua Christian was arrested after trying to break into her Tribeca apartment. In 2020, Eric Swarbrick was arrested for sending threatening emails to her brand. These stalkers have frightened the karma songmaker into carrying bandages, in case she gets hurt. In a 2021 interview with Elle magazine, she said, My fear of violence continues into my personal life. I carry a military-grade quick clot bandage, which is intended for gunshot or stab wounds, she continued. You have enough stalkers trying to break into your house that you kind of start preparing for bad things, Taylor Swift added. A man was arrested after trying to enter Taylor Swift's apartment building in New York, according to police. Police in New York City responded to a reported incident at Taylor Swift's Tribeca apartment building. Police say the man tried to open the building's door. This isn't the first time someone has tried to get into Swift's home. Nearly two years ago, a 52-year-old man was arrested for trespassing there, and in 2018, another man went inside and took a nap. With only 33 sleeps until the biggest pop star on the planet arrives, I can already hear the groans of some readers, exhausted by the amount of space one singer and her tour can take up. How can the era's tour continue? It's certainly been years, a colleague might complain. Well, yeah, it's kind of like it when you consider that era's first show was in March 2023 in Glendale, Arizona, when the headliner revealed a three-and-a-half-hour performance that might be her best yet. By the end of the era's tour, Taylor Swift will have played 151 shows on five continents. The tour has already grossed $1 billion, the first to do so, and could go on to gross another $1 billion in 2024. The show has averaged 380 million daily views on TikTok, thanks to the tour's endless, carefully packaged episodes. Until now. I've tried to avoid them all. For Swifties in Australia, 2024 is just the beginning of the era's tour. Shows start again in early February in Tokyo, then move on to Melbourne and Sydney. For me, the past 10 months have been an exciting and painful battle for self-control. My naivety, in hindsight, did not anticipate the extent of Swift's media exposure, dating NFL star Travis Kelsey, Time Magazine's Person of the Year, and making light of her sex life. While everyone reached a saturation point with it as a topic, I was avoiding as many articles and videos as possible. It's not easy. You see, for fear of spoiling, possibly, the greatest live performance of my generation, last year I decided to give up reading the 44-song set list and banned myself from watching anything on social media. It was a difficult time. The real exercise of restraint began immediately after that horrific week in June 2022 when tickets went on sale.
If you find this content suitable for you and you will like to have more contents like this please take some time to subscribe, turn on notification button so that you will be the first to watch the next video, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.